So my name is Henrik Chulu. I'm an independent writer and slash journalist, and I, I'm, I've always been super interested in how the how society and technology sort of intertwines. And it's, it's always hard to sort of separate what is the tech and what is the the social bonds. And when new technologies arrive, such as um, machine learning algorithms, they they tend to reinforce or perpetuate or, or just at least reproduce um, social relations that are in uh, society on beforehand such as racism or sexism or classism um, and there are certain uh, areas where you see that a lot like uh, when it comes to the criminal justice system when it comes to policing you 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 see you see systems that that take a, a racist practice and then codes it into uh, an algorithm not because the people that are programming the algorithm necessarily are racist but because the data that they use come from a racist practice such as policing especially in the US and um, there's there's like a lot of documentation of this from both researchers as well as uh, investigative journalists and this is something that I'm super interested in how how basically you can't really separate the tech from society um, and another example is how how the job market kind of skews uh, gender-wise, both in, in in real pay, but also in the kind of jobs that are offered to different people. There are studies that show that um, women would get offered less well-paying jobs than men if they just get the the standard job ads on uh, a Google search, for example. Um, and then finally, again with policing, you see that um, you have this this thing where the systems that we built to, to help police with algorithms is always focused on street crime. It's not focused on financial crime. And, and street crime is usually perpetuated, it's usually uh, perpetrated by, by impoverished people where financial crime is, is uh, committed by uh, rich people. And again, because the, the algorithm is focused on street crime, it basically criminalizes poverty rather than, you know, crime in general. So, um, so that those are some of the things that I find really, really interesting.